good morning. Have you said good morning yet this morning? I have not. Well, this is the first good morning. Happy, rainy, dreary Thursday morning. It's actually, yeah, still morning, 11.03. I just taught my Thursday morning class. It was awesome. It's so nice to be on like holiday schedule for everybody because, I mean, my class was completely jam-packed and sold out. <laughs> that, it's always the best. But it was a great class. Um, I am very sweaty. Um, so just to update you, <sighs> last night we had an incident. Didn't we, Daddy? Oh, yeah. So... Harper, I don't know if we even said anything last night, but like his, huh? Uh, we had already wrapped the vlog. Yeah, we had, I think we had already wrapped the vlog, but we were trying to put him to sleep and his, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> his belly was like really distended and really hard. And he, you could just tell like he wasn't crying or anything. He was just really uncomfortable and would, didn't want to go to bed, but yet was so, was just like fighting, was so super tired. And, um, so basically, we put him to, no, we didn't put him to bed. We brought him in the living room while daddy put the TV together. I think you guys saw that. And I just like laid with, you know, had him, he laid on me, but he would never be still. He would just like constantly like change position. He would lay on my lap and lay on my shoulder and then lay and then wanted to like be on his stomach and be on his side. And I could just tell he was really uncomfortable. I thought he had like trapped gas, which, you know, babies get from time to time. Um, I was like, man, something he must have eaten like really maybe gave him some trapped gas well I guess about after we had pretty much put together the TV we were getting ready to put him to bed um, he just all of a sudden sat up and started throwing up everywhere like everywhere it was by far the biggest throw up yet I mean the biggest on the couch all over me all over my slippers, all over the floor, all, on toys. I had to throw away the dory blanket and the door, the little door, one of his dory fish. It got just like throw up all over it. And it was just kind of one of those things where it's like, you know, I mean, I could have washed it, I guess, but it just, it was so much. I just was like, I don't think this, any of this can recover. <laughs> so daddy put him in the bathtub. Mommy, I mean, worked for half an hour on the living room, mopping, sterilizing, wipe Clorox wiping down every inch of everything I could get to, um, cleaning the couch, um, Febrezing everything. I mean, like, it just, you know how it is when, you know, a child, and the thing about is like, when kids throw up, they, you can't really, like, when they, they're Harper's age, like, you can't take them, they don't understand to throw up in the toilets, they just kind of throw up on the floor or wherever it comes out. They don't really care. So it just was hitting the floor and splattering everywhere. Oh, it was just disgusting. Anyways, so then after that, he seemed to feel fine. He, we did have him sleep with us. He woke up in the middle of the night one time. One time you could tell it was, his stomach was hurting, his, but he didn't throw up. He didn't anything. throw up, but it was, again, his stomach was real distended. And it, but then he was tooting a little bit. Yeah. So I think that was a little bit of gas. So I think like, you know, and then of course, then he woke, and he kind of had semi-normal poops yesterday. And mm -hmm. then he woke up today with diarrhea again. So it's like, I just, it's like he keeps, it's like he, he's sick and for a day and then he's okay for like two days then or you know or three or four days and then he's sick he gets he's getting the same thing over and over again and I mean I have I don't know what I mean we have sterilized everything I don't know how if it's recontamination or if he's just it's still just not fully out of his system, which is totally possible, but it just seems odd. The diarrhea, I could totally understand, because sometimes diarrhea, especially in children, lasts, you know, it can last, you know, seven to 10 days. This, but the throwing up thing is kind of odd, and, and we've obviously been in complete contact with our pediatrician, and they don't seem concerned. Um, you know, I don't know at what point, because he doesn't ever have a fever, really. Um, so, but he's, he seems to be okay. This now morning. he's happy as a clam. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be okay this morning. So, 
I'm going to go back to, now we did feed him more regular type foods yesterday. Still, we didn't feed him any dairy. Still stayed away from the dairy. So, but I'm going to go back to that brat diet again. Bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. And just, you know, do that. So, so anyways, poor little guy. Makes mommy sad. But anyways, but, you know. Good day. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how he does today. See how he does today. Um, it's really, like I said, really nasty out. Ben's working from home. So. I can hear the voice. He's talking to Elmo. What you saying back there? Huh? Anyways, so I think we should get some coffee before we go home. Yeah. Coffee. Then we go home to our massive giant TV. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna give you a little update before we get started on little Harper Ellis. Um, he had a really good day today and yeah. today was the first day I think in a long time that he has kind of seemed like the way he was previously to all of the starting like a week and over a week and a half ago um, he's had days where he's been pretty good but like this is definitely he I mean today he was really hyper and running around uh, playing and just kind of being himself getting into trouble getting, oh getting into big trouble so I've been thinking it was funny. Oh yeah, so, so that's good. So it's great. So we're so excited about that. Hopefully yeah. that's that's turning a corner. Yeah. On oh, another note, it's Q and A Friday. Q and A Friday. And it's the last Q and A Friday of the year. That's it's right. the last vlog of 2016. I know that's crazy. It's like I think it's like the 125th video or something yeah. crazy like that. So cool. Can you believe it? Thank you guys for being on this ride. Next video will be in 2017. That's right. So we're gonna dive right in. Let's go. And the first question is from Laura. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. She says a diet related question. Um, she'd like to drop, like, some fat, but not necessarily pounds, the actual fat percentage. I'm right with you on that. That's really interesting because it's, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. But anyways, and she's ahead. a working mom, yeah. so she can get to the gym some, but she right. knows it's mostly diet related. Right. So she wants to, to just know some tips. She knows she can Google it, but she would rather hear it from somebody who's actually done it. So... I mean, for me and like what I'm going to do um, and what I've already kind of started doing um, is just keeping everything really lean green lean i always say like lean and green in the sense that you're gonna want lots of fruits and vegetables in your diet lots of lean protein um really making sure your portions are under control and staying with it within whatever calorie budget that you've allotted for yourself and i think that is key um you know just really being aware of added hidden calories like you know like when you add olive oil to a recipe, like really make sure you measure it out and not just glug it out of the bottle, which I am so guilty of. Um, you know, those kind of added hidden calories like that really do add up over time. And I think by keeping, like I said, everything kind of lean and green, you're really going to see your, you're just going to see your fat percentage change in your body. Also, yes, it's very important to do you know, weight training and things like that. But it is really proven that if you really want to lose, just have a tr just a real fat loss, that whatever kind of cardio you can work in, in addition to your strength training. I mean, in my opinion, I think to be a little more, excuse me, oh my God. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, it's late, people. It is. Late. <laughs> um, I think traditionally to be more cardio heavy. So if you can go out and go for a big power walk or a little, like, Ben will go out for these little half an hour 5K runs. Like, whatever you can do to get that cardio in, that's also going to help you tremendously. You just sweat as much as you can. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah. I think that's good. Thanks, Laura. Yes. I like that. Oh, 
also, lots of people want you to do a Sephora haul. Oh, yeah. So, I will definitely do that. Yes. I will so, definitely do that. For sure. I'm sure she's going to do that. Uh, okay. So, here we go. Um, so, Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Um, so, I was wondering, how do you treat yourself through the week? Example. For nap time and after bedtime, she has a, um, a child two weeks, uh, I think, younger yeah. than Harper. Mm -hmm. Okay. She says she always feels like she wants to eat, and she's not talking about fruit. <laughs> like, hey, I kept the kids alive today. I deserve a truckload of chips and salsa. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyways, what do you do in place of that? And Monique seconds that. She totally understands. And uh, Laura completely understands. Kettle chips call my name loudly during nap time. So I think that's good. Like, yeah. Like, what is? How do you? How can you treat yourself oh, without going off the wagon? It's so hard. I mean, that is really hard um, because, especially, a lot of us like really respond to that kind of reward system. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I did something good. I got an A on my report card. My parents took me out for ice cream or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's like you, you, I think food rewards is, is very common for lots of people. Our, my biggest suggestion is just don't bring it in the house to begin with if you can avoid it. Yeah. And I know when you have kids, believe me, I understand that. It. I mean, like, I don't, we don't, Harper doesn't eat, like, chips and stuff and all that yet, so I haven't had to worry too much about that. Um, but he does have those, like, cheddar bunnies in there, mm -hmm. those oh, yeah. um, Annie's cheddar bunnies, and I could sit down and eat the whole box of those. I do not let myself have them. I just don't. Like, I I can't have them because if I go down that road, then every time I want any kind of anything, I'm going to go for those things. So, you know, one thing I do like to do is um, we keep... Um, dark semi-sweet dark chocolate chips in the freezer and so if I'm just really needing something like a treat like that to reward myself I like to make my own like trail mix kind of so either with fruit like maybe I'll cut up some strawberries and blueberries and blackberries and put a few of the chocolate chips in or even the other day I um Ben was laughing at me because we had some cashews so I got a, just a teeny tiny little dish and put the cashews in and just a few, like a tablespoon of the chocolate chips in there. And for whatever reason, I put them in the very back of the freezer under everything. And I know I always know they're there, but sometimes if I don't see them, I forget about them. You know what I mean? So I don't, I'm just not like I'm constantly like thinking about them. But when I need them for like a special treat, that helps me. But I just try, just try not to do it. I know that sounds like, that's yeah, not, I yeah. think that is the thing to work on from my, at least my perspective mm -hmm. is do I always need a reward for everything that I've done not not to criticize that because I'm the same way like I'm, right. oh, I yeah, need me to, too. oh yeah but how can I wean myself off from always feeling like I've like, earned can, that or something can I be you know I'm I'm preaching to the choir I'm preaching to myself you, you were in this I don't mean to con <laughs> because we all feel this way but can I be satisfied in they're alive this is so awesome you know right. what I'm saying? The, the the other alternative is to find some other sort of non-food Yeah, oh, totally. Like people are like, oh, you know, I, I want to do this. Or, I, you know, what is something you enjoy? Do you get to watch this that you don't get to watch when you're there? But I just think that the ultimate answer is do I always have to have a reward right. for every every time? And, and I know that's the way we feel, but I don't know. I don't know the answer. But then the good thing is then on the times where you really did something really amazing. Like, yeah. whether it's like, or you, you're hitting like an anniversary or something, then those treats become so much more special. Oh gosh, yeah. And like, even I felt like Ben and I have had to have this conversation over December. I mean, like, we've done pretty good. Um, but I'm just to the point now where I just feel like, uh, like nothing feels special anymore. You know what I mean? Like nothing oh, really yeah. sounds good. E and we haven't even eaten bad every single day. Like we've yeah. really tried to, keep it as tight as we can you know and and but yeah yeah i i even think of like my boss um uh pastor steve he's the senior pastor but he he when i was losing weight he would ask me because he he would do his cl a class and he would get done at like 9 30 and it was a pretty intensive like bible class and he would say how do you keep from he's like i always want to pull in burger king and get this thing because I'm, i feel like oh i'm done with this i feel like i need a reward it's just so in our culture you know? Oh, totally. I, mean, I don't think every culture is like this, but I think for whatever reason, we have this thing of, and I don't know if it's the consumer, you know, I don't know what it is, but it's ingrained in its long term. It's not like it just happened. Mm -hmm. um, and so my thing to think 
think about is is how can I just enjoy the reward being that I did something good. Yeah. I don't know. That's a long term thing. Though. I'm just thinking totally. out loud. Like it, it, Emily and Monique, don't believe me. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not in any way uh, judging that because I feel the same way. I just wonder out loud. You know. Yeah. Totally. Is there a way to right. to rechannel that? Is that good? I think that's great. It's happening. The Sephora, Hall, the Sephora Hall is happening whenever I get around to ordering the Sephora stuff, which has to be before the first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Monique loved the face routine on my perspiration. Maybe an update? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, okay, here we go. Olivia, this is from Monique. Since you are a spinning instructor, what do you think of the new Peloton bike and virtual reality classes? They're all over advertisers now. I guess the app would be nice for someone like me in my area who has a bike and a soul cycle near me and a toddler at home. And then she has a B part for us. She says, are you guys going to discuss your 2017 goals? So I'll let you take the spinning one. Yes. Um, I really love the idea of the Peloton bikes and everything. And I don't know exactly how, I've never been to Peloton, you know, we actually have Peloton Studios here in New York, and then they broadcast those classes all over the world. I think it's amazing because there are just some places, you know, that don't have access to really good spinning studios and things like that, and I, I think it's a neat idea. I know, and I hope one day SoulCycle is able to do something like that. I know it's really, really hard from a music standpoint because... We, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing is we play such <laughs> like current music and we're able to do that within the studio, but we couldn't broadcast. I mean, it just gets into all kinds of like licensing nightmares. I know oh, that's gosh. why Soul Cycle has never gone that direction because the music is like 50% of the importance of the class. Like, wouldn't yeah. you say? Oh, absolutely. Like, we are such a music... And every class is different, so it would have to be the same a lot because you'd pay these huge licenses right. for the music and then it would need to be the same music. Oh, gosh. It would be really... It would be a nightmare. It would be, it would be really From tough. a music business person. Right. But I will say, for now, until SoulCycle does get everywhere, I think I think the Peloton bikes are great. I do. Mm. Yeah, we have, and Leslie, who you guys have seen him in the yeah. chocolate, her husband is a, is a huge Peloton. I mean, like, he goes to the studio. It cracks me up because Leslie is a huge and loyal and avid soul cycler, and her husband, Joel, it does Peloton, and he comes. I mean, he uh, loves it. He loves Peloton. He loves it. He loves it. And I think that's great. you got to find what you love, and it is a great workout, and, and I think it's great. Um, and by the way, Joel's birthday is on the first, January 1st, so happy birthday, Joel. Happy birthday, Joel. Cool, and then so then so, uh, 2017 goals. Um, I was saying the other day on the vlog just that it's really hard because I have the propensity to want to make all these huge goals, and I'm going to do this, 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 and this. But you must set yourself up for failure in some regard. Yeah. So I think it's somewhere in the middle. I don't mean to say you don't set goals, but. I don't think you go so crazy. I think you have to just kind of narrow it down yeah. and say, here's the thing or a couple things mm -hmm. that I want to do. Um, and so, do you have any? Um, some of mine are just continue, continuing what I've been doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I want to continue to strive to be healthier. Um, I want to continue to strive to find balance in all of this because it's always a continued struggle and um my personality is very feast or famine so i'm always trying to find balance oh, yeah. in that and you know i'm successful more than i'm not but i would like to be even successful more than that so um that's a goal i would love to really to go on a vacation i mean i'm already going on the <laughs> fitness cruise in november so i'm very excited about that um, you guys can come and join yeah, us. Yeah, if you want to come and join <laughs> us, there's still some slots open. Right time. That's right. <laughs> um, and so, um, but I would like to go on like a, like a family vacation before Harper turns two because he can fly for free. Um, so I'd like to go somewhere fun and also spend more time with family. Like I think that would be really, that's really important to me. Yeah. 
Yeah, those are good. Um, I have lots of things I want to do. I'm always, because I want to finish my album. Um, I want to, you know, all kinds of creative things I want to do. Like, I want to do some more videos on other channels. I want to, you know, keep going on the vlog and get better at that. I want to, um, you know, continue to write. I'm always writing, but I want to write more songs and finish them and, you know, get them out, whether it be on a channel or the album or something. Um, and... Yeah, I have lots of things like that, but I also just want to just also be content, you know, not just go crazy and always feel like you're missing out on something or do something like that. I love this phrase I heard the other day that love is patient and love is present. And so I think that those kinds of things are really good. And just like a goal of just, just being present, not always being on the phone, you know, like when we were with Harper and stuff like this. So when he looks up, he doesn't see you always staring into the phone, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I want to do more stuff like that because that makes all those other things more special, yeah. I think. And one thing we want to do, too, is we want to go on, like, a sort of like a bigger date night kind of thing once a month uh, mm -hmm. because we live in New York. And it's funny, Kayla, who you've seen on the vlog, she, this is her last year. She goes to high school in Manhattan. And before she goes to college, her and her friend made this bucket list of things they want to do in the city. Um, and I made me think, we've talked about a bucket list, but, like, of just things we want to do because if we do move at some point, well, I don't want to say, oh, well, I wish we'd have gone to the Met more. I wish we'd have gone to, uh, you know, New York Philharmonic more. I wish we'd have done this more. So we just want to try to do some of those things. Yeah. Within reason, because they're expensive and the time right. is crazy. But I think you have to be intentional or else you will not do them. Totally. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so, so we want to do more stuff like that. Is that good? Yes. I think that's great. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm so tired, guys. I'm like, oh. She's fading. She's fading. I'm fading. She's I'm fading. fading fast. Okay, let's keep going. We don't have a ton more. Um, Debbie, we we'll pray for your grandma. Yeah. That's so hard. Keep us up. I today. know. Please let us know. <laughs> Thank you, guys, all for your uh, concern over Harper. I know. It was so, so all those comments were so sweet. Uh, well, listen. Now, this is this is um, this is actually a good hold at least me accountable but she says q a friday question how much water do you all consume each day we see you drink starbucks teas and zero vitamin water but not really plain water okay <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good one right on but just <laughs> melissa just so you know yeah I mean, I've, I've always got a water she always, with me. She always does. And she gets the waters at Soul Cycle. I drink water at Soul Cycle. So I not always make sure I drink. It's those big, smart waters. And I always, no matter what, I drink at least. I drink. I, if I don't drink it during the class, which I never do, I only drink a little bit, I'll chug it right after class. And then I always get a new one and take it with me. And I drink it on the way home. Yeah. So I do. But that's still not enough. I yeah, mean, yeah, I, yeah. I own that. But I do drink water. And in addition to, um, for me, the reason, the biggest reason why I drink the Vitamin Water Zero um, is for the electrolytes. Um, and, of course, it doesn't have any calories in it. But um, specifically because otherwise, if I don't replenish all those electrolytes in my body because I sweat so much, yeah. I will get... I would get terrible, terrible cramps. I would, my muscles wouldn't be able to recover that fast. Um, and then the, um, the iced coffee, that's just because I like it. That's yeah. just on top extra. Absolutely. But. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, we definitely need to drink more water. At least I definitely get, I usually drink it around the workout. So if I'm doing a workout, I drink it during or before or after mm -hmm. or something like that, which is better than nothing, but, but could be more. Yeah. Um, but you don't see us on the vlog as much because, I don't know, just when I'm getting in the car to go somewhere or something like that, I usually don't we grab always, water. And I feel like when we go in the car, we before we go anywhere, we always stop at Starbucks. Yeah. So that's like kind of like on our way to that's somewhere. A very part of my family, and that's related to the South. This is, it's, some of you from the South may understand. It's just to get a drink in the car, like to stop, but, you know, i got to get a cold drink. <laughs> Well, that's a part of your being raised. raised. I we know. never did that in my family. I know. I can't. I like. I. It's like I'm. Uh, oh, we gotta stop on the way so we have a drink. <laughs> I but mean, I don't want it to be water. Let's be honest. I mean, I don't mind it because I get to drink Starbucks. Exactly. But, 
But yeah, so. but I do drink. I actually, I drink. I actually drink quite a bit of water a day. Oh yeah. Um, Rochelle has a, a good question. Well, she has besides food prep, any other Whole Thirty tips? A lot of people are doing Whole Thirty in January. You know, they do. A lot of people do it. Yes. Um, besides, you know, food. Michelle is the Whole Thirty expert. Yeah, I mean, I I know I I know. You said besides food prep, but seriously, that is my biggest, 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 yeah. biggest, biggest. Yeah. I think, I mean, seriously, because otherwise Whole30 feels like a torture chamber. If you're if you're not prepared and you don't have stuff at your fingertips, I would say get creative with it. Go to the, every time you go to the grocery store, maybe pick up something different to try, whether it be a new vegetable that you're not, I mean, something, you know. Yeah, you got to be creative because by the end, oh my God. Yeah, um, and also be, like what Ben said, I would be really present with your body. Like, how do you feel, you know, the first, they said, the, I mean, the first 14 days are horrendous. The second 14, the second two, or the second 14 days, the second half of the, of the whole 30, I feel, you feel amazing. And so, be really, like, present on why do you feel amazing? Is it specifically certain combinations of things are there certain things on certain days that you ate that you didn't feel that great like your body it just becomes so efficient that it will really it will really talk to you quite a bit and so just be present and listen that's good uh let's keep going zooming 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 um we did emily did ask about the coat i gave her the link to the one coat but the other the new coat he got what was that gap what the white cream. harper yeah. Oh, the white one, the window pane one. Yeah. The, uh, that was from H and M. Oh, from H. Yeah. Okay. So I gave her the other one, the link to the. Yes, one, that one's from H and M. So that was. A, so we are zooming. We are zooming. You have to watch all of it to see if we touch on this. Let's see. Thank you, Kate, for your Boxing Day. Yes. Um, I rem I vaguely remember that. I knew that at some point, but. And they, I love how she's from Australia, so they talk about watching cricket and going to the beach, which is such an opposite experience of our Christmas. I know, but it's so cool. That's so fun. questions that we can't you probably can't answer specifically but to give you a good idea like you know do you get in do you get paid by the amount of writers in your class or are responsible for promoting your classes do you make a new playlist for every class um i make playlists for every single class i never have re i don't ever reuse playlists and i never play the same songs in the same order if that makes sense so Every time you go and come into my class, I may repeat songs, but it'll never be within the same playlist. Um, and um, I'm not really responsible to promote my class per se, in the sense that um, my classes, um, like each each studio has its own little page kind of on the app and it, every single day it'll pop up all of our names or whatever. Um, but I do work really hard to kind of promote my classes and who I am and my mantra and all that, like through, not just through Soul Cycle, but on my own social media. And um, it's really, really important to me. Um, and then Soul Cycle, um, you know, I obviously can't get really in specifically obviously about payment things like that but they have many different ways that they pay instructors and it's based kind of on you know longevity how long you've been there um you know there are different levels of instructors like i'm a senior instructor they have just baseline instructors that come in um straight out of training then they have senior level instructors and master level instructors and so as you can imagine just like in any other job you know pay is is um adjusted accordingly um but it you know your success and how well you do in the company is based a lot on how full your classes are and believe it or not you would think 
that being on The Biggest Loser and all that would really give you an edge. And I'm not going to say it hinders me at all. And I'm not going to say that I don't get people now and again that come in my class that are like huge Biggest Loser fans. But overall, most of the people that come to my class have no idea I was on Biggest Loser. I mean, like, yeah. it's it's really funny how I'm starting to become more known for being a Soul Cycle instructor than I was for being on Biggest Loser, which I think is such is just a really cool thing for me. You know what I mean? Like, I love that um, people are starting to get to know me for that, and I and that's I think I've talked about that before, but. Um, yeah, yeah, some people are like, oh my gosh, you were on that show? They were like, what? You lost a bunch of weight? What? You used to it's have... It's, and I'm always like, oh yeah, I lost 129 pounds. And they're like, what? It's hilarious. <laughs> it's funny. But it's that's cool to me. Yeah. Uh, some people had asked about Vlogmas. You know, what, what's the schedule? It's the same as before, Monday through Friday. Yeah. Um, we're going and, back to what we have been doing yeah. before Daily, Vlogmas. Monday through Friday. It's kind of a... We post daily Monday through Friday. Yeah. <laughs> So, we'll still be here every once in a while on bonus video, of course, because we like to talk. Um, it's pretty good. Kay, thank you for your comment. She just figured out how to comment. She's been watching a long time. I know. I love that. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Awesome. This is going to be kind of a... Um, kind of an epic Q&A but it's a fitting to end 2016 this way yep I mm. hope you all have a wonderful New yeah. Year's and New Year's Eve please be safe yeah just remember that even though you're making safe choices sometimes people around you aren't so be aware and try to stay off the roads if you can and love the people around you and hug them and all that good stuff be present to them. Be present to them. Yeah. And thank, yourself. That's right. And thank you guys for watching. Yes. Hopefully we have lots of fun stuff in store for 20 Sorry for all these yawns. <laughs> I feel like they're going to be like, oh my gosh, Olivia. I was so tired. As y'all can tell, I'm like, mm -hmm. That's all right. So let's get you to bed. And thank you guys for watching. We will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Have a, have a great, great New Year's. Bye. We will see you. Bye. Oh. How's that look? That's good. We got some new sheets. We got some new sheets. They're festive. They're very festive. I need a new today. Yeah. Put it on the list.